Nine separate Minecraft wolves means you'll need nine different biomes to live your wolf taming dreams after this update. The problem is that this biome doesn't tend to generate anywhere close to this biome, and so finding all nine of these on one seed looks like it's impossible, but actually I found a better way, or in fact three of them, because this seed is one of the most astounding you'll ever find, but you'll notice how there are three separate biomes that spawn wolves right there at spawn. But in case you want all nine, the simplest solution is to do what I did, type in wolves into your seed bar, and this sounds ridiculous because just typing in wolves isn't a way to guarantee wolves. In fact, at first glance, it looks like you can find cherry groves and snowy slopes, but no sign of any wolves. But actually, take a closer look and you'll find that not only is there a forest right here, so the woods wolf, what seems to be the most popular, you can find immediately at spawn, but also you can see a savanna plateau. And if you look into the distance there, you might see the slightest hint at a sparse jungle. But as you head towards the sparse jungle, you realize it gets even better than you thought. Not only is there a sparse jungle here with free food if you need it, not only is there a village just behind it, which is always a good start to a world, but also there is a jungle temple right here. Jungle temples seem unrelated, but that's only for those of you who haven't been in a jungle temple recently, because do you know what jungle temples have? It's something that almost everyone would consider garbage loot, but is actually very valuable. That's right, 10 free bones, plus some iron and an emerald and a saddle if you want to ride a horse around your world. This is an incredible start for anyone who is looking to get some bones to tame their wolves to get the full collection. I love that personally, but it's even better than just a jungle temple because this is a nice start, sure. But do you know what happens when you actually go to the village from earlier? Well, first of all, you get all of the good stuff that comes with this and also a mesa biome, or I guess we want to call them the Badlands now because of the wooded Badlands, but also you'll find a desert temple where exactly the same thing will happen. So all of this good loot is wonderful. Also a desert well, wow, that's actually useful now. All of these things are wonderful, but how do you get your hands on the rest of the wolves once you pick up these extra bones? So I love this seed and it's a wonderful way to get started with finding wolves and you can see that it actually has fairly decent access to even some of the rarer biomes you'll need to run into, like this old growth pine forest. However, some of the biomes require a bit of a trek to say the least. Okay, let's be real, no one is watching a seed video that tells them to go 5,300 blocks away to find a grove where you then have to spend about an hour looking for the rarest wolf, which by the way, I did find when I tried this myself. Where are you for- okay, okay. Look! <laughs> But yeah, the fact that it took more or less two and a half hours to do this means it's not a particularly great sales pitch, and the fact that you can't even find uh, a wooded Badlands on this seed, partially because, you know, they're not called Badlands in Bedrock. Here's a fun fact, if you want to find it, it's called the Mesa Plateau, and if you want to find it, then this, this seed will not help you. There is no biome of that type within a reasonable distance, which means instead what I decided to do was to get technical with it, and so I went to chunkbase.com, they have an app where you can see the biomes off a seed and you can specifically highlight the ones you want. So I put the nine biomes in for each of the nine wolves and then I searched thousands of seeds by hand to find the very best one for each of those nine biomes and I'll be showing you that right after I quickly dive into a really interesting seed which came out entirely unrelated to this about an hour before the announcement. Fragrant results showed a mountain where the meteorite fell. This looks very interesting as a picture but immediately what I saw was wow is that snow in a hot area? That's not only hilarious to look at but also so it's handy given half of the wolves are in hot biomes and half are in cold, and so let's go check out this seed. Because I mean, even if it wasn't useful for wolves, I think this would still be such a stunning start to any Minecraft world. Just look at this, whoa. And also look, there's even a ruined portal in the midst of that mountain, so you have a reason to go over there. What a stunning, again, meteorite hole is a cool way to describe this, but really what a stunning set of terrain. You could do something really marvelous with this, later you could make a giant blue ice highway through it, but for now I want to know how many great biomes do we have access to? Because even though the grove looks like it's it's just a kind of mountainous region with snow in it. This is not actually a grove biome, and so you won't find any wolves anywhere around here, although you will find a whole ruined portal. It is not common in the slightest to have to dig through a bunch of snow to get your hands on the chest, but in this case, I think it will be entirely worth it because that is four obsidian as well as 23 iron nuggets and some flint. So make a flint and steel, make a bucket, whatever you need to do, you've got it covered quite well. Wait, actually, is this a second ruin portal next to the first one? Wait, it is, right? These are two entirely separate ruin portals. 
Okay, I think this is just the weirdest, most twisted portal ever that maybe got very big and then got too stuck together in a weird way. I don't know what's happening, but there's a lot of obsidian if you can mine it, and a lot of other stone bricks if you find those to be valuable in the early game. But just in case you don't, you might enjoy that there's a savannah plateau over here, so there's at least one type of wolf you can find immediately. Now is a good time to mention, by the way, that this seed will be exactly the same at the same coordinates on Bedrock and Java, so you'll find the exact same mountain peaks and the exact same everything else here, with the exception being structures. So keep that in mind as we head to our second uh, wolf spawning biome. There's a regular forest right here, and then just over there we have not just a regular jungle, but a sparse jungle too. This is honestly a really good seed to get a nice variety of dogs, and honestly a decent collection. I think the savannah dog, uh, the jungle dog, and the, uh, the regular woods dog are really, really nice, but this isn't solving the fundamental issue of cold and hot, right? This is doing a really good job at hanging cold next to the hot, but none of the cold actually has those biomes. And the solution to this problem comes in all of that seed searching I was doing earlier because I have found a seed that has all nine of the different wolf spawning biomes fairly close to spawn and the only trade-off is that you have to spawn slightly underwater so you have about 10 seconds to surface or you'll start drowning to death but drowning to death is what you'll wish you had to do uh, when you realize how far it is to get wolves on other seeds compared to this one because although you spawn in a savannah biome the actual highlights of this spawn are the fact that you're right next to a sparse jungle in fact let me give you a cheat sheet because right here in the sparse jungle at these coordinates you'll be able to find a rusty wolf which is perhaps the very best wolf having this right next to spawn is incredible but you know what else would be incredible having a jungle temple especially one that is undisturbed by the land around it that would be another big win for you in fact actually it's really weird to look at this structure from underwater it feels like you're not meant to do this because you could easily just break your way in here and all of a sudden you've skipped all of the traps in this and you just get the free bones anyway though after this no way. <laughs> you'll, you'll also find a wooded badlands right here. I know this seems unbelievable that this little patch is a wooded badlands. Surely the beautiful Mesa Bryce Canyon or the, the giant Mesa Mountain over there must be the, uh, the, the Mesa Plateau. But it's actually right here. And to prove that, let me summon a wolf and show you that it is in fact the striped variant. Whereas if I summoned him right over here in the desert, it would not be striped. It would be the boring pale type. No offense, boring pale type. And so as a fun fact, you can find uh, the striped wolf right here. Basically next to where you can find the rusty wolf. That is just incredible. And I do not know how this possibly counts as a wooded badlands. Where is the wood? The Badlands is very questionable too. But anyway, you can also find a forest right over here. Wow, it actually has trees and everything. And here is the proof. Look at my woods wolf over here. There is also a tiger biome right over here, although the tiger spawns the regular wolf, so that's kind of hard to prove. You'll have to take my word for it based on the trees, which is also how you can take my word for it, that the old growth, spruce, and pine tiger are both here. One of these you can find over here. As you can see, look at my fun wolf. Then at these coordinates, you'll find the old growth pine tiger, where you can find the shadow the hedgehog of Minecraft wolves. For now, I can just say that you'll find a snowy tiger at these coordinates. Although, I'm not sure if I love this dog personally. He took so many bones. <laughs> we also have the Calico Wolf, that's definitely his name, in the Savannah Plateau, which is found at these coordinates. This is the furthest one away from spawn yet, but we're still only talking about a, you know, like a 250 block never journey, or a very short five to six minute walk overworld. Honestly, you could do this fairly simply, or you could perhaps go the very furthest away from spawn, and you could find yourself what has to be the most underwhelming wolf variant, but also the rarest one. And so honestly, this is a good one to go for last. Every other type of the wolf variants you can find in just a few minutes. And this one isn't humongously longer. And if you really, <laughs> you just sunk into the powdered snow. Pro tip, watch out for that. They spawn in this biome, but yet they still freeze to death. Uh, it is something that definitely caught me out. But yeah, honestly, you don't need to come to the grove biome. Just pick up one of the default wolves and say that it came from a grove biome and if anyone questions you just say oh yeah it's a texture pack and if anyone says oh why why do you have a texture pack to make the one rarest wolf look like the regular wolf say i don't know man i'm going through some really bad lag right now looks like i'll have to call you again tomorrow and you keep repeating that until they stop 
asking questions, and then you don't need to travel 3,000 blocks away, and instead you can be happy with your 8 wolf collection, which as we all know is the actual dream. If you did come all the way out here, you could enjoy a large amount of emeralds, iron and coal, that is what mountains are famous for, and this mountain really is covered particularly well in it. Honestly, I've always wanted to do a playthrough of Minecraft where I trade, but never buying anything from the villagers, just slowly creating hyperinflation by selling them emeralds from the natural world, and this would make a really good seed for that. Although, honestly, that's a bizarre idea for a playthrough and someone should shame me for it. This seed overall is an absolutely beautiful one though. I love the things that are close to spawn and I love the way the biomes shift quite quickly as you get out of that. That is somewhat normal in seeds to be like, oh, and then there's a biome over here and a biome over there. But to have clusters of different biomes is really, really useful. And so this might just be a decent long-term survival world seed that happens to give you a little wolf quest along the way. All I know for sure is that I am very excited to go around and collect all of my wolves myself and I'd love to know if this is the sort of thing that encourages you to explore as well because I think this is proof that the best motivation in Minecraft comes intrinsically from yourself when you decide you're going to explore the world to find some niche thing out there. No matter what great things Mojang can give you, the small cosmetics are always going to matter more, at least that's how it feels. And so yeah, if you uh, were to use this seed, maybe the blacksmiths wouldn't be enough for you to come 3,000 blocks away, but maybe the emerald or blocks and maybe uh, the wolves are but you know just a reminder uh, that I am using a texture pack where all of my wolves all look like pale wolves so I've actually collected them all and uh, uh, in case that sounds uh, unreasonable then sorry oh I'm for some really bad lag right now I guess Okay, seriously, thank you for watching. Click one of these two videos if you want to see more, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.